and welcome to Monday Night Prayer. Praise the Lord. Here we are back at it again. We are taking our stance on the wall as intercessors standing in the gap. We are serious about uh, praying with the Lord and tarrying one hour with him. And we know that his house will be a prayer, a house of prayer for all nations. Amen. Thank you for joining us online tonight. Um, we're going to pray our topics and allow the Holy Spirit to move in those areas and pray our areas of responsibility. The Lord's been so faithful to us. Uh, we are growing on Monday nights. I think last Monday night we had 80 some people here. We have families and children coming. Uh, when you see that happening, God is on the move. And we had a fantastic youth conference, youth summit. Looking forward, of course, to our leadership gathering coming up in August 10, 11, and 12. Uh, be uh, online, virtual. It'll be a powerful time. We're going to pray into that too. So, well, uh, if you feel led, you can get up, walk around, and pray. Uh, be free as the Holy Spirit leads you tonight. Um, we're going to invite the Holy Spirit. We're going to open in prayer. And then Pastor Bobby will pray for our nation and government um, tonight. I'm going to pray for Pastor Consuelo's spot. She's not with us tonight, um, but she will be back next week, maybe. Hopefully. No, Pastor Ignacio says no, but she will be back soon. She's in school. She's working on her doctorate program. Um, what an awesome thing for her. Amen. So, well, if you feel led, you can uh, walk around, raise to your feet, stand, whatever you feel led to do. Lord, we just thank you for tonight. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the ability to come back into the house of the Lord. We thank you, Father, for your presence tonight. We thank you that, Lord, you enable us to pray, and we just ask tonight, Holy Spirit, that you would have your way. We ask, Lord, that you would release a spirit of intercession and travail. Lord, in your people, Lord, that you would give us vision and you would give us faith to be able to pray those things that are upon your heart tonight, Father. That, Lord, we would hit the mark in intercession, that we would see things happen, and, Lord, we would know what you would have us to do, and, Lord, uh, we pray that birthing and travail that brings a change in the spirit realm, that brings a change in the natural realm, Father God. We ask, Lord, that you would help us to shake off every distraction, every weight of the day, every weight of the season, Lord God, and that, Lord, with faith and persistence and vision, we would rise up as the body of Christ, and we would press on into, into prayer. We would press on to pray those things that you would have for this coming season. Father, we pray that you would even release, Lord, the Issachar anointing, that, Lord, your people would be able to see, that we would be able to know how to prepare for the coming season, that you would release vision, even as Pastor Bobby prayed yesterday, that you would release vision for us as individuals and for us as a church and for us as a body, Lord God, for those online, Lord, that you would release vision and you would release faith, that our faith would come up to what you have for us, Lord, that, Lord, by faith, we would pull from the spiritual realm to the natural realm, Lord God. Father, that we would be energized, that we would be uh, full of fire and passion to pray those things, Lord. Father, we thank you, and we give you all glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And now Pastor Bobby will lead us as we pray for our nation. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We come forth to lift up America, the United States of America. We declare that she is a republic, not a democracy. We declare the founding fathers gave us a republic, and we stand on that factor. Republic stands for is a nation ruled by the law, the law of the Bible, and the teachings of Christ. We declare our nation is we present our flag unto the republic for which we stand. So Lord, as a nation, we stand on the truth of our foundation today as we begin to pray uh, for our nation and all the cities and the states that are in. We lift up, Lord, our constitution in which we live by. It says, Lord God, one God. Lord God, there's one God, Lord God. Nothing else, Lord God. And you are that one God in which we stand under as a nation. We lift up our judicial branch. Lord God, for the Lord is our judge. We lift up our legislative branch, which the Lord is our lawgiver. 
We lift up, Lord God, our executive branch, for the Lord is our king. We lift up, Lord God, our president, President Biden, the vice president, Harris. We lift up his cabinet with all his members and different people, Lord God. We lift up, Lord God, also our Congress, our Senate. Lord God, we lift up all our governors, Lord God, for every state that there is, Lord God. We call out Alabama. We call out Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Ottawa, Kansas, Kentucky, Lord God. We lift up on each one of these, the governor of each, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Lord God, hallelujah, Mississippi, Lord God. We lift them up to you now, Missouri, Montana, Lord God. We lift up the United States, Lord God, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, Lord God, New Jersey, Lord God, New Mexico, New York, Lord God, North Carolina, Lord God. We lift them up to you, Lord. The governors that rule over each one of these states, Lord God, we lift them up with all their policies, their rules, their regulations. I pray, Lord God, they will stand for righteousness and godliness, for righteousness exalts a nation, Lord God, and we pray for those righteous laws to be intact and none other, and may they only accept the laws that glorify and lift up God. We lift up North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Lord God, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Lord God, Virginia, Lord God. We lift up even, Lord, every city, every town, every mayor in their position, Lord God, as they rule in their city. Lord, we pray that they will all lift you up and be and you be glorified in every city, every town. There's a breakdown from the state, Lord God, that resides in any highway, any place in America, Lord God. We lift up, Lord God, and ask you to move mightily in every place, Lord God. We lift up, Lord God, and ask you to bless every area, every function in every city, every town, every government official. Lord God, we lift up all functions, all capacities, Lord God. We lift up, Lord, all judges. We lift up all lawyers, Lord God, that are in our nations, Lord God, that are passing laws, regulating laws, judges that are making decisions, Supreme Court judges, Lord God. We lift them up to you now, Lord God, and we ask you, Lord God, to move mightily on behalf of this great nation, Lord God. You said, Lord God, you give judges and you give lawyers. The Lord is the king who will save us. So, Lord, we thank you for giving us judges and giving us lawyers that after your own heart, Lord God, that will stand for you in the midst, Lord God. There are different things that are going on, Lord God, decisions that are trying to be made. But, Lord God, we come to you now. Thank you for this great nation. We bless every state. We bless the United States. We bless our government. We call it bless, not curse. We release the blessings of God upon it, Lord God, that it will increase in every place that any place is not like you. This blessing says that you will turn it around to the place it needs to be so you can bless it. So we are saying blessings, blessing, blessing, blessing to America, blessing to our forces, blessings, Lord God, our military, bless in every area, Lord God. And Lord God, we will thank you for it now. And we give you praise for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to move the winds of repentance, the rules of repentance into this nation, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, let the wind of repentance begin to blow from the White House down to every house in America, from the Washington, D.C. to every city, every town in America. Let the winds of repentance begin to blow through our cities, through our towns, uh, different areas, Lord God, that have been, Lord God, hey, Kada. Let there come in repentance, a wind of repentance. For, Lord God, our nation has violated certain principles that you have set in order that are eternal from the beginning of the garden. Forgive us, Lord God, for breaking the borders of marriage. 
causing Lord marriage to be redefined when you already have defined, defined it already, Lord. Forgive us for breaking these borders of marriage in this nation, violating your principles and your laws and your regulations. Let's stand no matter what America do. And you expect these things to be upheld, Lord God. Forgive this nation for moving in that area. Forgive us, Lord God, for violating the borders of the womb. Will we legalize, Lord God, abortion? Lord God, which is just another form of bail worship, Lord God. Where we're now all the way up to nine months which they can take a baby, Lord. Forgive us for those, the doctors and the nurses, Lord God, the hospitals and the institution that support this kind, Planned Parenthood and all its ways, Lord God. Forgive this nation for every penny that's sold into these organizations and support the killing of the innocent. Ooh, praise the Lord, Lord. Forgive our nation for shedding the blood of the innocent, Lord God, violating the border of the womb, Lord God. Forgive this nation, Lord God, as we have moved into now even the gender. People don't know what gender they are. We have so many genders and different kinds, Lord, violating what you said, male and female, re-identifying everything. We ask you, Lord, these principles for a rewind of repentance begin to blow against the lawyers, the Congress, Lord, the Supreme Court judges, Lord, those that making the laws and regulations, the governors, Lord God, his support, Lord God, begin to touch their heart, Lord, break their heart over these laws, Lord God, uh, and let them recognize the lie that they're believing in, Lord. And also the borders of, Lord God, even Israel, where they're trying to violate it every time, Lord God, we turn around. But Lord God, you upheld everything there, and we're thankful for it even now, Lord God. Lord God, forgive us for the hard-heartedness of this nation. Lord God, where sin has hardened our hearts, according to Hebrews 3 and 4, Lord God, turn our hearts, soften our heart, make it pliable to what you desire us to do, Lord God. Please, Lord, send your angels to break off the chains of darkness, Lord God, against us, Lord God, that's working against us as a nation, Lord God. Lord God, we are one nation under God we declare ourselves to be, Lord God. And we ask you to move on behalf of each and every situation. Next, Lord God, we lift up the subject of witchcraft. No TV program hardly does not have it. No commercial hardly has not have it. School books and all areas of America is now moving into some form of witchcraft. Harry Potter is being taught in, in Sunday school, in churches, Lord God, as a regular curriculum. I've talked to saints and they act like it's nothing, Lord God. But Lord God, you say, Lord God, I, I will cut off witchcraft out of thy hand and thou shalt have no more soothsaying. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we rise up against the line of witchcraft, Lord God. We declare, Lord, you say witchcraft is as rebellion, is as a, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Forgive us for our rebellion in this nation. Forgive us, Lord God, for standing up, Lord God, against you. Forgive us for our stubbornness, Lord God, is as iniquity and our idolatry, Lord God, as we more worship our own opinion. Let us turn our hearts away from the witchcraft. And we declare, Lord God, you said you were against the witchcraft. You tear away from us from the witchcraft in which they hunt the righteous, the souls of the righteous, to make them sad. You tear the pillows and the kerchiefs. Lord God, rip them across, Lord God. Free us according to Exodus, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, set us free, Lord God, from every scheme, every design, Lord God, of witchcraft. We come against witchcraft that makes us clumsy, confusing, double-minded, disordered, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, fearful, fretful, that makes it magnified in a great way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, unable to focus, unable to pay attention, forgetting real easy, Lord God, uh, discouragements, Lord God, that comes from it. We declare the power to be broken off this day. Lord God, we come up lifting the issue of mental illness. There are so many lists of reasons why in the Bible for mental illness. Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, to move on behalf, bring understanding, cause the church to see, Lord God, the spiritual significance of this that's happening in the mind 
of people where they cannot handle the issues and the pressures, Lord God, the mental instability in people as they see what's happening and see what's coming on the earth and the hearts are failing, minds are cracking, the stress is out of this world, Lord God. You are the regulator. You said you would give us peace that surpasses all understanding. This peace you give us, not like the world give peace, but you give another peace, Lord God, that supersedes, Lord. Come against depression, oppression, Lord God, in the name sadness, Lord God, let it lift off of us, Lord God. That's causing people to see no future, to see no hope for tomorrow, Lord God. But Lord, you said, hope thou in thee. Lord God, let us put our hope in thee and have you rise us above every circumstance and situation. We declare the power of mental illness to be broken, Lord God, as we have violated anything of your word, Lord God, that opened the door, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, pride, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Nebuchadnezzar began to eat grass because he got lifted up in pride and lost his mind, Lord. Sexual sin, Lord God, will cause mental illness to step into the picture, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, begin to stand where we need to stand. Witchcraft opens the door for mental illness. Lord God, help us in this nation. Lord God, we see it more and more. Doctors are trying to do the best they can. But Lord God, there's an answer in you. You violate your word. These things happen. So Lord God, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Isaac will come and lead us as we begin to pray for the body of Christ and for leaders, for the word of God to be preached, for strength for leaders and vision for leaders. We come before you, Holy Spirit, and we humble ourselves before you. Only you and you alone are worthy of all praise. You say in your word that we're two or three are gathered in your name. You are in the midst and you are here, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the power of unity, the power of agreement, Lord Jesus Christ. In this moment, we lift up our finances before you. For it is you that gives the ability, according to Deuteronomy 8.18, it is you that gives us the ability, the strength, the health, to provide for our families, to be able to give, to be able to be part of this promise, Lord Jesus Christ. You say, Father, that if we give, Father, that you would open up the heavens and that you would pour out an abundance. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you give us the ability, the health, the well-being, the sound mind to make a living and fulfill our responsibilities, Lord Jesus Christ. And we also speak health unto those that are unable to do that. We declare health over the bodies in the name of Jesus Christ so that we would be able to bring in those finances to the kingdom of God. This is all to establish your, con your covenant. This is all to advance your kingdom. That is the mentality, the kingdom mentality. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto our lives so lord jesus christ we seek you we seek first the king the one the fountain of all source the fountain lord jesus christ of all finances of all provision we come to you lord jesus christ and we ask that you would extend your hand over our finances we ask that you would supernaturally eliminate debt in the name of jesus christ we repent lord jesus christ for not being great administrators of our money from the past we ask you lord jesus christ that you would move supernaturally over our finances we declare raises over the body of christ why to build your church so that we would continue being a dispensing vessel lord jesus christ help us holy spirit help us to administer the finances that come in to use wisdom to use heavenly strategies to be able to steer our finances to be great administrators in the name of jesus christ we declare that in you we have no lack there is no lack in you we have everything our pastor teaches us that everything that we need is in the glory pastor bobby preached yesterday that that 
what we need is inside of us. It just needs to be unlocked. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you would unlock those strategies, that you would unlock those treasures, that we would be able to, to see and walk in your anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the apostles, the disciples, they would lay the hands on, they would impart, they would lay the hands, Father, over the saints to activate the gifts that are inside of them in the name of Jesus Christ. So we ask that you would activate us in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare a surplus here at Whitehorse Christian Center so that we will bless others so that we will bless others so that we would bless your children your nations your people Lord Jesus Christ we thank you because by faith you are filling up our storehouses you are filling them up financially supernaturally and also as pastor gary preaches in our storehouse there is also organs lord jesus christ for our health kidneys livers pancreas all of that lord jesus christ we declare an abundance in our storehouse so lord jesus christ we declare your blessings over the body of christ we declare pre provision Lord Jesus Christ, now we pray for the word of God preached from the pulpit. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even, dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and a discerner of the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, your word penetrates all. It penetrates the minister and it penetrates the people. It is a double-edged sword. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for piercing our heart, for piercing our spirit, for correcting us, for teaching us according to your word. I thank you, Father. We thank you for the the God sent men of God and the women of God in this ministry that preach the unadulterated version of your word that they don't dilute it they preach it as is your word says in Proverbs that a true friend looks you right in the eye and tells you the truth even if it hurts we thank you Lord Jesus Christ for the word of God preached from the pulpit we declare as the word of God is ministered from the pulpits and our extended family Whitehorse Christian Center extended family and throughout the nations that as your word is released power father is in that word and that it is alive father just like the centurion said to Jesus just at your word just send thy word and we declare your word that doesn't return void we declare that your word is not in prison it is not captive absolutely no one could could withstand your word no one could get in the way of what you've already have done we thank you jesus because there is power in your word we thank you because there is power in the name of jesus everything has to submit to the name of jesus so we thank you for the powerful words being released least from the pulpit we thank you because you are raising up men and women anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit that will be able to say as the Apostle Paul said I do not come with persuasive words with power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit Help us, Lord, to preach in that manner the full gospel with signs, wonders, miracles in the name of Jesus. You have put us in a position to set the captives free. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to say what you are saying. Not a word to touch the soul, but a word that would transform, that would renew, that would renovate, that would revive, that would activate, that would push, that would pull, that would uproot, that would plant in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you that you would raise up your government through your word, through your sons and daughters. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the next wave, the next generation that has been, that is being risen up as we speak. And they too, they too will lay 
that foundation of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, Lord, we ask you for strategies for progress. Your word in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 admonishes us and teaches us to not lean on our own understanding. So, Lord Jesus Christ, we lean on you. We come to you as Nehemiah did. Help us to be visionaries. Help us to be leaders. Not only to be visionaries, but to be doers in the name of Jesus. To, to lead by example. Help us to have that spirit of Nehemiah. That entrepreneur spirit. The visionary spirit, Lord Jesus Christ. To please you as Daniel did. The strategies that, he, that you gave him. He went against all odds. Against the current of the world. And he stood for the one true God. Just like Elijah did as well. Lord Jesus Christ. Pour out that anointing over us as the leaders. We do not want to fall short of the responsibility that you have placed on us. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you move, that you push us, and that you would remove what needs to be removed from our hearts. We lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways we acknowledge you. And doing that, you will direct our paths. We need you to direct our paths. We need you to make the crooked paths straight in you. As John the Baptist did, Father, that forerunner preparing the way for you. Let us prepare a way where you would just come in, where we would usher in your anointing and your presence, and you would just shine and do what you do best. We thank you because we are the privileged ones in this relationship. We get to be close to you. We get to have intimacy with you. We are saved by your grace. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to be great ambassadors, representatives of your word. Espíritu Santo, te damos gracias porque tu presencia está aquí. Te doy gracias porque por fe estás abriendo las ventanas de los cielos y derramando bendición hasta que sobreabunde. Te pedimos que milagrosamente quites toda deuda en el nombre de Jesús, quita toda opresión de deudas, de finanzas en el nombre de Jesús, haz obras y milagros para que nosotros podamos avanzar el reino de Dios, te pedimos Espíritu Santo por la palabra predicada del púlpito que venga con poder, con denuedo, con valor, con unción y poder de lo alto en el nombre de Jesús. Ayúdanos a ser representantes tuyos, firmes, íntegros. Ayúdanos, Espíritu Santo. Danos estrategias del cielo para poder hacer tu voluntad. Danos ese espíritu de Nehemías. Danos ese espíritu de Elías. Danos ese espíritu, Señor Jesús, de tener visión. Tu palabra dice que tu pueblo perece por falta de visión. Espíritu Santo danos visión, danos tu mente, danos tu espíritu, danos tu corazón en el nombre de Jesús Te amo gracias, yo te doy gracias por los santos, yo te doy gracias por los intercesores En el nombre de Jesús ilumina nuestro entendimiento, illuminate our understanding Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Amen, amen, Pastor Gary will come and lead us as we pray for souls and salvations Father, we just thank you that you are the God of salvation. Lord, that you bring salvation even to people like us that don't deserve it. Lord, we pray right now that you would energize and supercharge the army of God. We pray, Lord, that you would begin infusing us with the fruit of the Spirit. Lord, because we know no matter how many gifts we have, if that fruit's not there, it just doesn't make a good pie. So, Lord, we just ask you to begin pouring love into us. Begin pouring self-control into us and compassion, Lord, and gentleness. Lord, let us as your ambassadors show goodness and kindness, Lord. Let mercy come from us, God. Let it just pour out of us, Lord. Let compassion pour out of us, Lord. Lord, Lord that we would be long-suffering with those who keep rejecting you lord that we would be as long suffering as you are lord mostly god we ask you for love lord love 
Lord, help us to love the world like you love the world. Lord, help us to love the world that we, that we would be able to send the most precious thing in our life to die for the world. Lord, let love pour out of us, God. Let understanding pour out of us, God. Let mercy pour out of us, God. Lord, that we would not be jealous, Lord. That we not hold back anything, God, when it comes to salvations, when it comes to sharing your word. God, forgive us for pride and arrogance and superiority, Lord, like that we have something no one else has. And Lord, as you continue to grow in us and mature us in the things of the Spirit, Lord, we pray, Father, for the gifts of the Spirit, Lord. Lord, that the supernatural power of God would flow through us when we're mature enough to walk in love and when we're mature enough to walk in self-control and when we have that discernment of the spirits, Lord, that confuse so many. We pray, Father, that you would just start using us in words of wisdom, Lord, and words of knowledge, God, that prophetic evangelism would be birthed in our ranks, Lord that it would be commonplace for us to see miracles, that it would be commonplace for us to, to say, thus saith the Lord. For it would be commonplace, Lord, that we could give dates and addresses, Father, and, and first and last and middle names of those who need salvation. And, and Lord, even, even say your son sitting on the couch right now, he's wearing a green sweatshirt and he's bound by drugs. Lord, give us words of knowledge that would, would blow the minds of those who don't know you, Lord. Confirm your goodness. Confirm your power. Confirm your mercy. Confirm your almightiness, God. Use us as your church, Lord. Give us pinpoint accuracy, God, that we wouldn't be shooting some kind of scatter gun. But, Lord, let us have sniper accuracy, that we'd go right to the heart of a matter, God. We pray, Father, that the keys of the kingdom would be in our hand, and you give us discernment as to what key to use in each heart, Lord, to unlock every heart. We pray for those who have been wounded and bruised by the church and wounded and bruised and rejected by by church members, Lord, and people who thought they were doing the right thing but did it the wrong way. We ask you, Lord, to bring some type of soothing salve, Lord. If, as it were, anointing, let the anointing just flow out of our mouths, Lord. Father, that we would see those that are thirsty and that we would bring living water to them, Lord, that we would walk up to them just like Jesus walked up to the man at the pool of Bethesda and said, here I am, I am the water. Lord, let us bring that refreshing drink, Lord. And those who think they're full, that have all that they need of, that have all the, the world has to offer, God, let us be salt in their mouth, Lord. Let us be salt where they would thirst and hunger for righteousness, Father. Mostly, Lord, let us do what Jesus did. Let us be about the Father's business. Let us go forth and go forth with power, Father. Lord, as we go forth, Lord, breaking addictions and bringing deliverance, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, bringing prodigals home and showing them love. Lord, we just pray for those prodigals right now. Those that have tasted your gift, that even those, Lord, that think they have committed some type of quote unquote unpardonable sin, Lord, we know that any sin that you that they ask forgiveness for, you pardon. Lord, you whew, hey. Whew, those that are in the pig pen, like the prodigal son, Lord. We pray, Father, that you would just, just turn to them, Lord. Let them come to themselves, Father. Lord, break the mental torment over their, over their minds right now. Pull the blinders off of their eyes right now, God. Break the callous off of their heart right now, Lord. Draw them back, Holy Spirit. Draw them back, Holy Spirit. Draw them back, Holy Spirit. Bring them home, Holy Spirit. Bring them home. Prepare our hearts to receive them with open arms when they return, God. Prepare our hearts, Father, not be judgmental or critical or condemning in any way, Lord, but welcoming and open, Lord. Let us have our arms open wide. Let us stretch forth our arms like Jesus stretched forth the arms on the cross of Calvary when he said, all come unto me. If you're heavy laden, if you're broken, if you're bruised, come and learn of me. Take my yoke upon you. Lord, we pray, Father, that you would, be, you would do that for us. And Father, let us step into discipleship where we will train up those, Lord. Let us use all of the calories that you have given us spiritually, Lord. Forgive us, God, for being fat and obese with all kinds of word and all kinds of doctrines and all kinds of 
degrees and all kinds of knowledge and all kinds of notes and all kinds of marked up Bibles when we put none of it to use, God. Forgive us for that. Lord, get us out of the church and into the marketplace. Get us out of the church and into the, into the tables of our neighbors, Lord. Help us be the neighbor, Lord, just like Jesus said, who is the neighbor? Let us be that neighbor, Father. Let us be that neighbor that goes about and does good. And Lord, let the power of God come forth as we say your name. Let the name of Jesus break every chain of bondage. Let it break every addiction. Let it break every form of pornography, every type of alcohol and drug addiction. Lord, let us just speak the name. Let us speak the name. Let us speak the name of Jesus and watch the demons flee. Let's see the chains broken off, God, right now. We thank you, Lord, that the power of darkness is broken at the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, that as that breaking comes, that more and more people would accept you as the Lord, that would accept you as the Savior. Father, birth evangelism in our hearts. Give us a heart for souls. And we pray these great things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray for families, and then I'll go into praying for students and teachers and our 20 to 40-year-olds. Pastor Consuelo is not here, so I'll pray in her spot. Lord, we thank you. Yele Sunday, Lord, we thank you for our families. Yele Sunday, Lord, we thank you for our children. We thank you, Lord, for our youth. We thank you, Lord God, for marriages, Lord. Father, we just pray right now for marriages that, that, Lord, what you have joined together, let no man, let no enemy put asunder, Lord God. What you have joined together, Lord, what you have called to be marriage, Lord, let it stand. Let our marriages stand, Lord. I pray, God, that you would cover them and that, Lord, you would renew them and you would strengthen them, Lord. I, I pray, Father, for open communications and marriages, Lord. Father, that there would be an ability to hear one another, Lord. Father, we pray for peace in the homes, Lord, where there's been chaos and upheaval. Lord, we just declare peace peace in the name of Jesus, peace in the homes, Lord, peace over mom and dads, Lord, peace over single moms and single dads, Lord. We just declare peace over them in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask God that you would give them wisdom, that you would give families wisdom, parents wisdom in raising their children in this day and in this age, Lord God. Father, we cry out that you have strategies for families. You have strategies for moms and dads, Lord. You have strategies that you would release from heaven that would help them in their finances, that would help them in raising their children, Lord God. Father, we just ask, Lord, that the heavens would be opened and that the word of God would be opened them. And Lord, that they would begin to glean from your word strategies for their marriages and strategies for their finances and strategies for their children, Lord God. Father, we thank you that you're moving in our children and you're moving in our youth, Lord. We thank you that the heavens are open over all, all of them and our young adults, Lord God. And Father, we thank you of what you have done in our youth at the Youth Summit. And Lord God, we just ask that you'd continue to cultivate and you would continue to move, Lord, that you would release prophetic anointing in them and dreams and visions, Lord, that you would stir them up, Lord God, to seek you and to find you and to know you, Lord God. Raise them up to be Ruth's and Esther's Lord, give them vision for beyond what the world would offer, but a vision of what you would have for them, Lord, what their calling is, what their purpose is, Lord God. Let them begin to see beyond the worldly things, begin to see into the heavenly realms of what you would have for them to do, Lord God, and that lies that come against them would be broken and would be shattered in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let life come. Let life come. Let vision come. Let them hear, Lord, what you have for them, Lord God. Let their ears be opened in the name of Jesus, Lord. May the heavens be opened in greater ways over them, Lord God. Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. Move in our children, Lord God. Lord, draw the children. Draw them into your glory, Lord. Lord, release your glory in them. Lord, release a hunger in our children. Lord, visit them with dreams. Let them wake 
wake up and say, Mommy, Jesus visited me. Lord, we pray and cry out that you would touch them, that, Lord, that you would be so real to them that the things of the world would pass away, that the things of the world would be dim in comparison to the realities of the living Christ in them and around them and through them, Lord God. Father, we cry out, Father, for our students, and we cry out, Lord, even as they go back to school, Lord God, that you, Father, would put a passion in them to be lights, that truly they would rise and they would shine with your glory and with your light, Lord God. Let fear be broken off of them, Lord God. Let, let them rise with a boldness, Lord, and step into the things of God as never before, Lord. Let them be leaders in schools. Let them be leaders in their, in their groups, Lord, with their friends, Lord. Let them be leaders of the kingdom of God, Lord. Father, we cry out for a visitation. We cry out for a visitation, Lord, for our children and for our youth and for our families, Lord God, that you would visit, that you would renew, that you would strengthen, Lord God, that you would bring revival to them, that they would wake up and they would be, arise with a new vision and a new strength, Lord, that you have purpose for them. You have purpose for their families, Lord God. Father, we just ask, Lord, that even as they go into a new school year, Lord, that you would equip every one of our children and our students, Lord, to be strong in the word of God. And that, Lord, they would not bend to the way the world looks at things, but they would measure it through the grid of your word. I pray that you would give parents and teachers, Lord, uh, Sunday school teachers and youth leaders, Lord, wisdom to teach and train the next generation in your word, that they would be strong in your word. They would know what your word says, Lord God. Lord, give creative abilities, creative ways to reach a generation and give them a hunger and a passion for you and a hunger and a passion for your word, Father. Lord, we give you all praise and all glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. And Pastor Martha will come and pray as she prays for missions and nations and the persecuted church. Me garadia sandori beridie se ab isha riero no moshe keridia sa Father God and hey God is hey God in your word in Isaiah you said you have called us to be a house of prayer and we thank you right now for calling us to that commission Lord God we thank you Father for all that are in attendance tonight Oh God to answer that call and we thank you father for a place to be able to gather in your name oh god and pray and intercede for those that are in need we thank you father god in the name of jesus as we lift up missions and missionaries lord god we ask father god that you would supply all that is needed and necessary for the missions where uh hey god the orphans are, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and all those that are tending and teaching and, and doing all that is needed and necessary for those orphans, Lord God. We lift up the nation right now of Nigeria and that that is in China where they are being persecuted unmercifully, Lord God, in the name, hey God, in the name of Jesus, and they're just arbitrarily killing Christians, Lord God, those that are standing for your name and standing for your kingdom's sake, Lord God, just killing, killing, killing women and men and children, Lord God. We lift them up now, right now, those nations and all the other nations that I cannot begin to name, Lord God, but you know exactly where they are, Lord God. We just thank you right now, Father, for bringing, hey, God, peace into those nations right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, for those that are being persecuted for your name's sake. And we thank you, Father, the, that you are tending to those that are standing and are being imprisoned and even martyred, Lord God, for your name's sake. We thank you right now, Father, for the families, Lord God, for your taking care of those that are now without their loved ones because of their stance, Lord God. 
We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I ask, Father, in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus, that you are able, more than able, to take care of every need, oh God. We thank you, Father, for making us a dispensing vessel. We thank you right now, Father, for pouring in so that we're able to pour out when there is a call for need, even just a call for prayer, Lord God. You have made us that kind of house, and we thank you, oh God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you would bring peace, <laughs> peace to Jerusalem, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father, for those in that land, in Israel, Lord God, those that have taken a stand and will not bow and will not bend, uh, but stand. And I ask you, Father, that you would give them even the wherewithal, the grace to still stand when they've done all to stand, to stand there for. We thank you right now, Father. I ask in the name of Jesus, as we lift up those that are taking the news, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to the various areas. <laughs> you said everybody, 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 Lord God, needs to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ and all that he has done, all that he is yet doing in the miraculous, Lord God. So I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would just strengthen, oh God, those that are going into the diverse places, Lord, into the mountains, into the highways and the byways, the deserts, wherever the good news needs to be heard, Lord God. We ask that you would strengthen those that are going, Lord God. I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that in those places where, ah, God, medicines and hospitals and doctors and nurses and all those workers are needed, oh God, where the pandemic is raging, Lord God, any disease, oh God, and the need for oxygen and just medicines, oh God. We ask, oh God, for a supply to be released, oh God, in those areas. We thank you right now for your healing virtue just flowing through those areas, Lord. Flowing, hey God, flowing through those areas. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus that you would bring... <laughs> The climate, oh God, that is needed and necessary to grow food, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be no floods where there is <laughs> no floods, Lord God, but rainfall such as is needed, oh God. No fires, no drought, Lord God, but that that is needed to grow food so that people are able to eat and even Feed the animals, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, for all the machinery that is needed and necessary to plant and harvest the crops, oh God. We thank you for the workers that are able to, to do that, Lord God, and dispense it wherever it is needed. We just thank you right now for all that you're doing through the nations, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord, for the relationships, too, that have, have been made through this house, Lord God. Thank you, oh God. Continue to strengthen the net, oh God, so that we're able to be in touch and be able to do that which is needed in whatever area it is needed. We thank you, Father, for the, all those that are ordained under this umbrella, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. The nations are too numerous to call one by one, but you know each one, Lord God, and you know each name, Lord God. We just thank you right now, Father, for strengthening that net, those knots in the net, so that none are lost, none are lost, oh God. Help us to be fishers of men, Lord God, in every area, every nation, and we just thank you right now for your supply in every way that it is needed. And we give your name the praise and all the honor and all the glory belong to you, Lord God. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Pastor Gary will come and we'll pray for miracles and healings. Lord, we thank you that even as this church rises up in health and walks in prosperity, Lord, you are the reason. You are the miracle working God. Lord, we thank you for bringing Estel back with us tonight. We thank you, Lord, that you have risen him back up, touched and healed his body. God, that only you deserve that glory. Just like Pastor Martha just said, your matchless name, Lord. There is no name like your name. Every sickness, every disease, every disorder bows at the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for miracles, not just over bodies, but miracles over nature. Miracles over circumstances, Lord. Miracles over even gravity, Lord, that just like Peter walked on the water, Father, that in our congregation, those that have needs are walking over top of things that seemed impassable, Lord, that seemed impossible, Lord. We thank you, Father, for mountain-moving faith, Lord. Hey, we thank you, Father, for the gift of faith, Father. The gift of faith, Lord, so that as we rise up and we begin to believe God for miracles, Lord, faith rises up. Let faith rise up. Let faith rise up. Let the enemies of the Most High God be scattered. Let faith rise up, Lord. We, we lift up to you our senior pastor right now, Father. We thank you, Lord, for miracles in his life. We thank you, Lord, for miracles in his life. Every disease, every disorder, every virus, every germ cleansed from his body, but with the, with the miraculous, wonder-working power of the blood of Jesus. Lord, we plead and appropriate that blood over his lungs right now, that they would assimilate oxygen correctly, Lord, in and out to the fullness, Lord, that they would even grow new material and new blood cells right now, Father. We thank you, Father, that every electrical and chemical frequency in his body comes into harmony and into balance, Lord, that the good cells in his body begin digesting the bad cells, Lord, and they're eliminated through every single facility in his body right now in Jesus' name. We pray for strength, Lord. We pray you strengthen his heart, his blood, Lord, even the bone marrow in his bones right now. We pray, Father, mostly that you would give him visitations in the night. Lord, that there would be a supernatural Hebrews rest, that he would enter into your rest. But God, during that rest, as you reconstruct his body, that you would speak to him, Lord, that you would give him direction, that he would walk in confidence and in boldness right, right now, Lord. Father, mostly we ask you to set him at ease. Set him at ease right now, Lord. And Lord, give us wisdom as we're away, as he's away, Father. Give us, give us wisdom as we walk, Lord, as a congregation, Lord, knowing that we are entangled, we are entwined, we are one in Christ. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you that you have placed us strategically in this time right now, God. You put us here. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you didn't have us wandering around in the wilderness. <laughs> we thank you, Lord, that you saved us for the last days, for right now, for this Kairos time, Lord. Those with cancer and blood disorders, Father, we ask you to touch them right now. Those with mental disorders right now, Lord, you know the lady I'm thinking about. I pray you'd strengthen her, Lord. Strengthen her equilibrium, Lord. I pray, Father, you strengthen her husband, Lord, in this trying time. Those that are in old age and, and having to change environments and change situations, Lord, housing and, and cars and things like that, Father, we ask you, Father, for wisdom right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray for, for bone marrow right now, Lord, that it would transfuse and carry the blood properly. She told Mosite. Those who have, uh, I, in, the, I, in the spirit, someone has serious infections in their gums and in their teeth. I believe God's touching that right now. Lord, thank you for cleansing, cleansing, cleansing that infection. Cle Lord, you do the root canal right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Lower back pain and vertebra uh, decompressions and grinding. Whew misplaced disc right now father we ask you to touch that in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name we thank you lord 
Someone has a problem with their right foot, like an like a arch, and also a pain in the ball uh, sockets of their feet, the very toe part of their foot. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You don't call it out if you don't plan on healing it, Lord. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for the, your healing power. Someone has blurred vision in their left eye. I believe God's touching that right now. If that's you, just reach out and grab a hold of it. Just get a hold of it. If it's somebody in your family, call them, text them right now. Tell them God's touching you and heal them. Pray for them right now. Do the stuff. Lord, help us to do the stuff when it comes to healing and miracles, Lord. Heart, uh, weak heart muscles. And uh, I see it like a heart out of rhythm, like missing every other beat. Father, we thank you that you put that right back in time right now. Lord, put your timing light on it. Set the timing on it right now, Lord. Lungs filling up with oxygen and be, being drained right now of fluid. Fluid being dispersed right now. Kidneys operating properly. Whoo, sugar diabetes gone in Jesus' name. Hey, I'm There's somebody who has a spinal cord injury that's caused them pain for years and years. Uh, the Lord's touching that right now. He's, he's, he's actually mending together those nerves right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you that this upcoming few weeks will be marked with miracles and signs and wonders, Father. We thank you, Lord, for supernatural moves of Holy Spirit. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's just begin to thank him. He, he's a God of miracles. He's a God of signs and wonders. Just, just, just if, if he just gave you a gift, what would you do? You'd say, thank you. Thank you so much. This is just what I wanted. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for touching my body. Thank you, Lord, for preserving me. Thank you, Lord, for guarding my finances. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening my bones. Thank you, Lord, for giving me steadfastness, encouragement, God. Thank you, Lord. We just give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you that you are a miracle-working God, and you do all things for our good. And we give you praise for that in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Woo. Pastor Ignacio will come and lead us as we cry out for revival. We exalt you, God. Te exaltamos, oh Dios. Te exaltamos. Digno de toda gloria y de toda honra, Señor. Te damos honor y gloria. Bendecimos tu nombre, exaltamos tu nombre, porque tú eres digno de ser adorado. Tú eres digno, mi Señor. Gracias Espíritu Santo por estar esta noche aquí con nosotros, gracias por estar aquí, gracias Espíritu Santo por ser nuestro guía, nuestra ayuda, nuestra bendición, gracias oh Dios porque tú eres fiel y verdadero, porque tu nombre es sobre todo nombre, porque tú levantas al caído, porque tú levantas al pródigo, porque tú levantas al necesitado, porque tú haces cosas nuevas y porque tú haces cosas renovadas, porque tú renuevas el corazón del hombre, el corazón de la mujer y levantas nuestras vidas y levantas nuestras familias, Levanta nuestros hogares porque tuyo es el reino, el poder y la majestad porque siempre ha sido fiel porque su fidelidad ha sido grande y poderosa y le exaltamos por ello, we exalt you aleluya, aleluya, aleluya aleluya, aleluya aleluya, aleluya we declare victory tonight in the name of Jesus aleluya, we declare victory in your name Lord, in the name of all name in the name of Jesus, aleluya in your name Lord, in your name name Lord in your name victory 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 in the name of all name in the name of Jesus send you glory send you anointing send you fire Lord to the congregation to the church to the people we need you and right now in the rooms we have people with sickness in the name of Jesus bless them in the name of Jesus right now the people will have fire hallelujah with people will have problems the people would need fire right now send you glory send you anointing send you fire send you provision in the name of Jesus 
Jesus, bless, Lord, the congregation. Bless the people with having surgery right now in the name of Jesus. The people who have in the hospital right now. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Send you glory, Lord. The angels surround the places in the name of Jesus. We ask for activity, angelical activity in the church, in the name of Jesus, in the homes, in the name of Jesus, in the, in the families right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless, Lord, the congregation. Bless the families in the name of Jesus. We exalt you. Hallelujah. We exalt you. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Lord. You are the only one. Hallelujah. We ask that we know for your mercy, for your love, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We ask for the pastors, for the leaders, for the people who need you right now in the name of Jesus. To the people who have bad news in the name of Jesus. We declare your power in them in the name of Jesus. And they will be in focus in your world, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The good news coming in the name of Jesus. The new, the new, the new things coming in the name of Jesus. And the new season coming in the name of Jesus, Lord. In your name, Lord. In your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Extiende tu mano de poder, Señor, sobre la congregación. Manda tu gloria y manda tu gracia. Manda tu bendición y manda tu poder. Que todas las cosas sean hechas en tu nombre y en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre. En el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret declaramos victoria. Declaramos prodigios. Declaramos milagros. Declaramos avivamiento. En el nombre de Jesús. We declare revival in the congregation, in the church. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the pastor staff right now. Revival in the name of Jesus. Helen, in the name of Jesus, you move, Holy Spirit. We ask for your glory, for you move for your glory, Lord. We want to see you glory, Lord. When never before we want to, we ask for your glory in the name of Jesus. We want to touch your mantle, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bring your faith to the church to touch the mantle in the name of Jesus. In times we, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to see your visitation and you will be blessed, Lord, in, in, in habitation. People will be have habitations in homes, in their rooms, and special places, Lord. Bless the congregation, Lord. We want to ask, hallelujah, we ask and we know for them in the name of Jesus, for the people we have problems, circumstances, hallelujah, the giants, Lord, to try to destroy the congregation in the name of Jesus. We destroy all attack to the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, todos esos gigantes se caen, todos esos gigantes se rompen, todos esos gigantes gigantes que hay a un lado por el poder de Jesucristo de Nazaret y declaramos la unción del Santo y declaramos la unción del Todopoderoso y declaramos la fuerza del Espíritu en la casa, envía tu gloria a la casa, envía tu visitación a la casa en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret, envíe su gloria, send you glory Lord, in the name of Jesus Hallelujah, Hallelujah we ask for those moments of when we worship you Lord in the church Lord we want to see that, that you move uh, you suddenly moment Lord in the name of Jesus realize the gifts to the congregation Lord realize that th those gifts where the people need it right now in the name of Jesus the strength where the people need it right now in the name of Jesus we need the strength Lord and we ask for your strength Lord in the name of Jesus bless the pastors bless the senior pastor right now with his strength in the name of Jesus bless him in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord I will be take a few minutes to uh, in Spanish I, I feel the anointing to, to bring one word in Spanish hallelujah porque el Espíritu del Todopoderoso caminará contigo la gracia del Altísimo estará donde quiera que vayas porque la gloria del Señor será manifiesta en este tiempo cual nunca en el nombre de Jesús the prophetic word will be strong in the name of Jesus in this season when never before in the name of Jesus oh 
open the doors, Lord, for the congregation. Open the doors for the people, Lord, the new generations in the name of Jesus, in prophetic words, in word of knowledge, and word of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Send your passion in the congregation. Send your passion, Lord, in the congregation to pray, to seek, to, 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 to open the doors in, 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 in fire in the name of Jesus, in anointing in the name of Jesus, and bless the next generation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Well, now we'll just move into thanking the Lord that we see with the eye of faith that he's moving on our behalf. So, Lord, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you, Lord God. Hey, Lord, we just thank you that you are the God who hears the cry of your people, Lord. And Lord, that you answer, Lord, and that you bring answers, Lord. We thank you, Father, and we look and we see the prodigals coming home. We see miracles happening. We see our children prophesying and moving in words of wisdom and words of knowledge. We see families coming together and being strong. We see revival moving in our church. Hey, moving in our families, moving in our children. We see the glory of God and come around about us and your glory in the midst of us Lord God father we thank you we thank you Lord God and we give you glory we give you honor we give you all praise Lord thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord God thank you father thank you Holy Spirit for empowering us thank you Lord and we give you glory in Jesus name amen 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 so thank you for joining us online tonight, and we pray that the Lord has met you. We will be back here next Monday night at 7 p.m., and we release you to pray with those you're in a relationship with or your church group, wherever you may be. May you be blessed. Good night.